can tell there's only one person to go to here. Kevin Phillips, or Super Kevin Phillips, give you your full title. <laughs> you were the designated penalty taker at every club you were at. How would you have felt if you were told, there's two of you, sort it out yourselves? Well, the, yeah, I was a designated penalty taker, but you always designate someone else as well in case, you know, I'm not on the pitch. Sure, so, I get that, but if you're both on the pitch... Yeah, of course, yeah, then no-one's taking it apart from myself. So, I don't, you know, for me, I, I don't get... Ollie, what he's saying there, really, in terms of there's two designated penalty takers. When you've got Rashford, who took the penalty last week, buries it with ease, you know, the confidence. You get one the next week, and then there's a debate on the pitch who's taking the penalty. I just... Mm. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. If I'm Marcus Rashford, I'm getting the ball, I'm taking the penalty. That is it, end of. Mm. Listen to Gary Neville after the, after the show saying about there's not enough leaders on the pitch. Now, I agree with him, certainly agree with him, but... I think Pogba's probably showing a bit of leadership by saying, give me the ball, I'm taking it. Yeah. So there's, there's different kind of leadership. But in terms of actually being designated, it's, it's a stonewall penalty. I, I just don't understand why Rashford hasn't taken it. And you can see now, James actually, he's whispering to something to Rashford. He's probably saying to him, why are you not taking it? You know, you took it but, last but week. The, other, the, the strange thing about it, and we've seen it elsewhere, that was, that's not a row, is it? It's, it's not, a, no, it's, it's almost... Do you want it? Uh, 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 they, they were quite happy themselves, and Ollie was quite happy with the scenario as well, which I, I thought made it even more extraordinary. I, I'm not sure he is. You know, deep down, I'm sure he's not happy with that. I, I can't believe that he's happy that the ball's been taken off of Marcus Rashford, Pogba's put it down and he's missed. Inside, he'll be seething. You know, if I'm Ollie now, I'll be saying to Rashford, why didn't you take the penalty? Why did you not grab the ball and take it? Could you not, could you not have, if you have, trying to... Follow the logic of it. Mm. If you've got two out there, say Rashford hasn't played that well on the night, or one of them hasn't played that well, and they are the designated, and he says, Look, I'm, having a beast. I'm having a beast here, will you take it? Yeah, well, or that's exactly is that wrong. No, that's exactly what Ollie's given them the opportunity to do, you know? But for me, it's, it's more of, I, I, would, I would never do that. I used to like to know for my own sake, right, who's taking this mm. and have your practice because you still practice. You can never recreate it, but you you need to Repetition. be decisive, yeah. right? So the second I saw Pogba do that, I expected him to do his little jittery run up. Why didn't he do that? Do you know what I mean? Mm. I don't know. Mm. So why did he take it? After the week, I'd have said to Rashford, uh, any penalties, you're on, mate, end yeah. of. But I am not under that pressure that Manchester United's team brings. It is but, uh, but immense, been... yes, right? And that. they have some fantastic flair, wonderful players there. And, you know, maybe Ollie's saying, I need you to step up and you need leaders, you know? Because in their teams before, Roy Keane would have more or less frightened the penalty taker mm. to take it or took it himself. I took yeah. penalties at Bristol Rovers because I didn't trust the but, other ones to care as much as I did. But as soon as you got a penalty, you knew... Even if you just missed three chances, you knew it was your chance, ball was yours. Yeah, so you've got clarity of thinking, haven't I, you? I just, I, you know, from uh, all strikers have got that selfishness about them. That's why I'm just astounded that mm. Marcus Rashford started the season so well, great goal last week, played well, played well again on Monday night, and he looks like he's going to get better and better. What another great opportunity to go and get another goal. You know, he sh he's, his aspirations this season should be I want to finish top goal scorer in the Premier League, I want to be up there with Kane, Aguero. Because he's going to play week in and week out because of you know the players that, mm. that are not really challenging his yeah, Kev, position. What I'm saying, he might be showing total respect to his skipper because he and he went over and got the penalty himself. Now we we all know. Yeah, but Pogba, do you need to do Pogba, that to respect your skipper if you're the designated? No, I, if I was Rashford, I'd say, is that, yeah, is that, yeah. "Get out of the way! I'm taking this. Yeah. You've missed free. Get lost. I'm taking it." I think it would have been big of Pogba to just say to Rashford, "Here, I'll there take the go, ball. Mate, go yeah. on, you take it. You scored last as week. A go and get, yeah, as a captain, you go and score. Go on." And that, that, that's, a, that's a form of leadership, isn't it? You, you go on, you go and I've got I one other you. reason why you should have said that, because also, Martial has already scored. That's 2-2. Yeah. Two, two. Come on, son, make it 3-2. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, exactly. when you got two strikers who were competing yeah, against each other, yeah. Curran and Roberts, like I had, they, they, were, they would almost not pass to each other because they want to beat the other one, you know? Mm. Very quickly, you say you'd like Marcus Rashford to be thinking, finish top scorer in the Premier League. Can he do that if he's being played out wide? I, I think he... <laughs> 
if you, if you actually watch the first two games, they do do a bit of rotation. Yeah. Martial will come out, Rashford. And I think that's the way Oli's given that licence, that freedom to do that. Lingard might go up top, Martial might drop in, Rashford might. So yeah. he's not just going to play wide left all season. He'll get himself up into goal scoring positions. And, you know, I played in a front three with, with, in Ian's team, and he gave me the licence to, to stay up when we're defending at times. I don't want you back. Not that, you know, modern teams now, they all have to get back mm. and go forward. But he's got that licence to roam and get in goal-scoring positions. And that's, that's one of the biggest things why I think, you know, he could be up there come the end of the season because he's no doubt he's a great finisher. Kevin I... mentioned Jesse Lingard there. Yeah. He's coming with a little bit of criticism at the moment. The game seems to be off the boil at the moment. Well, I hammered him in the summer, didn't I? Because he, you know, he... That's a different argument about no. his, Yeah, no, no, but what I'm saying, it all leads one leads activity. to the other. Because when, does it really? Yeah, I think it does. I, I, I do, and, and, you know, for, at the end of the day, we know he's a fantastic talent. But to, in today's goldfish bowl of a world of... You've got to be at it all the time. Yeah. And, and, you know, there's a, there's a balance between really believing in yourself or being a little bit cocky. And, you know, he's 27 years old. Come on, mate. 25. Tw is he? 25. Let's be the player that we know you can be. Some of the things he's done, even in the England shirt, has been absolutely sensational. And Oli needs him to step to the plate because they looked terrific, yeah. didn't they, if they're all on form. Right. Some of that forward-thinking stuff was excellent. It's the best I've seen Pogba play in, in these two games, I, I believe. You know? And, Jesse, come on. We want to see that wonderful, almost impish talent that he's got because he does things that other people... He's, He's got that brain, you know? And that's why I loved him. He's got a brain yeah. that, that, that you can, you can move and, and he will go and fill in. And they need yeah. to share it out in this modern day. You move people around. So, you know, I didn't think he was that bad, I must admit. But he looked very disappointed at getting brought off, you know? And I'd have a good look at myself and say, right, OK, yeah, Gaffer. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Is it one of those things, though, uh, Kevin, when the assists and the goals dry up. You just need something to go for you. Yeah, what you do... Sometimes is, you can almost try too hard. Of course you can. You, what you have to do is you just have to keep believing, keep getting in those positions. Uh, you're playing for Manchester United, you will get opportunities, you will get chances to score. Uh, part of me, he's, he's still relatively a young lad, but he's been at United now for a good time, so you can't use that as an excuse. Oh, it's Manchester United. He's played an awful lot of games, he's played for his country. Maybe, has his nose been put out of joint just a little bit because people are talking about Rashford, you know, the, the resurgence of Martial. The young lad James coming in, he starts, he stays on, you know, he, he, he looks like he's going to be a right threat. So, all of a sudden there's competition and not everyone's maybe talking about Lingard as being this young up-and-coming kid that's going to be the next best thing. So, he can't use anything as an excuse now. I agree with Ian, you know, your lifestyle, you have to live like a monk. Mm. You know, in, in, in today's world, you know, you have to do right things right off the pitch because you're being judged all the time. I wouldn't say he start, started badly, no. but I think because of the players around him that have started really well, it's going to highlight it a bit more for well, I think he's a really important cog in that front yeah. little echelon that he wants that movement, you know, mm. and you've got to have a brain. You put one fella who have not really got a brain like the others, and that's why, and I'm not being rude, that... Lukaku's a wonderful beast of a player, but he wasn't on their wavelength. The movement, that goal last night, was sensational yeah. because Rashford meant it, not for the fullback, he meant it for Martial. You could see, and you've yeah. got to get that well, chemistry. Well, hopefully, hopefully it will happen for him soon.